And now we've got to check in on CBS News, because as we covered on this show, 60 Minutes has been embroiled in some controversy lately after they very deceptively edited a response in their interview with Kamala Harris about Israel to make her seem exponentially more coherent and uh, serious and less word salady than she actually was. I covered it on the show and I said I thought it was really bad journalism and gave Trump a right to feel aggrieved in that he refused to do an interview with 60 Minutes because he thought they were biased against him. Honestly, I still see why he feels that way, but Trump is hitting back at CBS News in a way that I think is going too far. Take a listen to what Trump said in a recent interview with Newsmax. And I think that CBS, I think that 60 Minutes should go off the air. I think it's the worst broadcast scandal I've ever heard. No, it's not journalism. They don't do journalism over here. It's also election interference. It also is license threatening. You know, they have a license from, that's not cable. Here they have a license from the federal government. And they, they pay nothing. They pay peanuts, they pay nothing. They should take that license away from CBS. They should absolutely, they violated the whole covenant of the license. So there's a lot to unpack here and we will get into it, but just quickly, the idea that this was the worst scandal in broadcast news history is kind of absurd. We've literally had people caught making up fake stories, huge scandals. I mean, they deceptively edited one interview question response. It's bad, but the worst in history? I don't think so, Donald. But I wanna focus on this suggestion that Trump made that CBS should have its license revoked by the federal government in retaliation for the coverage that Trump dislikes. This wasn't just a one-off suggestion that he made in an interview off the cuff, it's something Trump has repeatedly posted about on social media. He wrote on Truth Social, 60 Minutes is a major part of the news organization of CBS, which has just created the greatest fraud in broadcast history. CBS should lose its license and it should be bid out to the highest bidder, as should all other broadcast licenses, because they are just as corrupt as CBS and maybe even worse. In another post, he shared the misleadingly edited clip, which I also covered on the show, if you remember, and he wrote, A giant fake news scam by CBS in 60 Minutes. Her real answer was crazy or dumb, so they actually replaced it with another answer in order to save her or at least make her look better. A fake news scam, which is totally illegal. Fact check. Misleadingly editing something for a broadcast news report is not illegal. Trump continued, Take away the CBS license. Election interference. She is a moron, and the fake news media wants to hide that fact. An unprecedented scandal. Tell us how you really feel, Donald. <laughs> so here's the thing. Trump is right to feel aggrieved by the clear bias at 60 Minutes and at CBS News, and he's totally right in his complaints about them. He's even perfectly entitled to boycott them or encourage other people to boycott them. But you cannot and should not weaponize the federal government to revoke broadcast licenses in direct retaliation for a media outlet publishing or distributing news coverage that you, a politician, don't like. That is blatantly unconstitutional and a complete and clear violation of the First Amendment, which guarantees the right to a free press. If the government can revoke your license to broadcast, if they don't like the way you report on the news or the way you present information, that's not a free press. That's a censored, government-controlled press. You don't have to take my word for it. The nonpartisan Foundation for Individual Rights and Expression, FIRE, which disclaimer, I do do some consulting work with, put out a statement about this where they made it clear that this is not a suggestion that is compatible with support for the First Amendment. They wrote, freedom of the press isn't a government privilege. It's a First Amendment guarantee. The First Amendment ensures media outlets from CBS to ABC to Fox can present news and opinions without fear of retaliation from powerful government officials who dislike the outlet's coverage. The appropriate remedy for perceived bias or unfairness in the media must never be state censorship. Politicians, other outlets, and members of the public can respond, criticize, and offer alternative viewpoints, all of which has happened here. That's how it works in a free society. I think they're exactly right. Trump is well within his rights to criticize CBS News, even organize a boycott of them, encourage other media outlets to do a better and fairer job. But when he starts talking about the government revoking licenses because of the fact that politicians dislike a network's coverage, that's authoritarian. 
And that's inconsistent with free speech and a free press. Plus, just think five seconds ahead. Think of how, if this was allowed to happen and allowed to stand as a precedent, how quickly the shoe would be on the other foot and Democrats would weaponize this power and authority. After all, if a Republican president can revoke CBS News's license because he dislikes their liberal biased coverage, well, guess what? A Democratic president could go after every conservative talk radio station in the country and revoke their licenses. They could surely find some stories that have been broadcast that are misleading or deceptively edited, or they could just claim they are, which is subjective anyways. No matter how much they hate mainstream media and to be clear, some of their reasons for feeling that way are valid. Conservatives and Republicans do not want to play this game. Opening a Pandora's box of censorship to go after the left is only a recipe for disaster. That's my take, but let me know what you think in the comments below. Uh, what? 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 What?